Tony Scania is a former covert operative. He's now with the multi-operational security agency intelligence company, better known as Mossack. He joins me now. So thank you for, uh, for, for joining us. Such an attack in Brussels could have happened anywhere. Can you make them feel any better? Unfortunately not, uh, Richard. This really could happen anywhere, including uh, London, where I'm sitting right now. Uh, just about every city on the planet is vulnerable, um, not just about every city is vulnerable. Okay, so um, with, with that sort of somewhat pessimistic um, but realistic view, uh, what is the solution here? It's, it's going back to basics when it comes to intelligence reports that are already available. Who are the perpetrators, who are possible perpetrators in that area? Unfortunately, uh, Abdus uh, Salam was um, in an area where he grew up and uh, other perpetrators that you know orchestrated the Paris crimes the Paris murders um, were also in that right. same area and, and that is unfortunate but hang on a second I mean I can hear viewers saying tonight it is breathtaking that months after Paris following on from this uh, uh, this arrest on Friday where you know that the, the, an atrocity of this nature can take place in in Brussels beggars belief yes it's it's horrendous I mean uh, the fact that these perpetrators weren't uncovered before these horrendous attacks I mean that is an, a serious intelligence failure are, are the intelligence operatives are they seriously behind the curve at the moment in dealing with Isis in any city, it's a difficult situation. If you looked at London, for example, in order to prevent an attack would really require a million spies, a million covert operatives on the ground. Um, London's a very surveilled city, but without manpower on the ground, it's really a, a very difficult task. Yes, we are behind the curve. You know, when you're operating in a war zone like Iraq, you expect this to happen. When you're, you know, operating in your own backyard and there are COVID operatives living in between the public, it's very difficult to find them and flush them out. Um, really, you know, it needs to go back to analysis and the scrubbing of intelligence reports. Sir, thank you for joining us from London tonight. We appreciate it.